Hello, my name is Dave Rivard. I am the product manager for ZOS Solutions at SSH Communication Security. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show how MVS accounts can be accessed without requiring the user to submit credentials to RACF. In some scenarios, this can be desirable, such as in support of automated file transfers from Unix system services into MVS environments. However, it can create a security hole that mainframe and security administrators can be unaware of. In this demo, I'll log into an MVS account with my RACF credentials, add an SSH key to the account, disconnect, and then log in again without having to submit a password or other credential to RACF. For the purposes of this exercise, we are using a RACF user account that we have named SysProg. I'm displaying the account right now showing the ID's OMVS attributes of a Unix UID and home directory where the public key will be stored from the SSH client. On the SSH client side, we are using this ID, SysProg, to authenticate to ZOS. Now I'm going to create a public key for the purposes of authenticating to the mainframe. This is the, this is the mainframe challenging the SSH client user ID, sysprog, that exists in RACF. I'm going to enter a password one time. It takes a couple seconds to upload the, upload the public key to the mainframe in the .ssh2 slash authorization file for the user ID. Now I can go to RACF and, or ZOS in Unix system services and I can list in the .ssh2 directory I can list the public key that we just created. Now going back to the SSH client, I can now log in to the mainframe using the ZOS system programmer profile. Now SSH is actually creating connection, the connection to ZOS. And there I am. I'm logged in without even having to enter a, a RACF password anymore. Additionally, I can open up a Windows, I can open up a Windows GUI and display MVS files. These are all the high-level qualifiers that exist on the, ZOS, on the ZOS box on the MVS side, including MVS and all MVS data sets and such. Over here on ZOS, I can display the user ID and show that the user ID has just connected to the mainframe. So there are several security issues associated with this type of scenario. But there are also some simple steps systems programmers can take to remediate them. These are all explained in our applications note, Can Remote Users Bypass RACF Security Controls, available on our website, www.ssh.com. Thank you for listening today.